Barahona case continue to pour in from the Department of Children and Families as the special investigative team continues to dig deeper into the children's lives. We have now learned a family member of the Barra owners also made a call just two days before a little girl was found dead in the back of a pest control truck owned by her adoptive father. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie just listened to that phone call and is here with more. Rochelle? Well, Jay, the phone call lasted just over seven minutes. It came just two days after a therapist had also called DCF to report the abuse of the children at the hands of their adoptive parents. The caller says he is related to the Bear Onas and was concerned after the adoptive mother, Carmen, threatened to commit suicide and Jorge couldn't give a clear answer on the whereabouts of 10-year-old Nubia. Now, the caller also tells the DCF, the employee on the call, that Victor had a split lip and also needed stitches and a wound around his face. We went to see her, my sister and myself went to see his wife, and we saw the other two children the other two children, he was with one of them. Uh, he left four, so he was with one, and we saw the other two. We never saw the, the little girl. We asked her, the mother, and according to her, he was, she was supposed to be with him. My sister had questioned him about the little girl, and he doesn't come out with a straight answer, which is worrying me so much that something might have happened to the little girl. And when the relative asked for DCF to take care of the problem immediately that day, the employee responded, it would not happen today. Nubia was found two days later dead. I'm Rochelle Ritchie in the Breaking News Center, WPTV News Channel 5.